I don't know where this one came from, but um, it was not loading up. Hey, what the hell? We drank. What the hell? We ain't just coming up. Ain't that dumb? I gotta go back, see what's up new. Come to find out. I don't know when this was published. But, um. Whoops, wait a minute. I want to see when that came up. When the hell was it? Ranker. 14 details. Now, there was one, I think I might have heard of it, but I don't remember. But then again, I, you know, reading so many articles, I don't even know if this one even did come up. But, um, I kind of think it did and it didn't. But it won't hurt to go over it again. Uh, I hate when they ain't got a date when these when these were posted. But of course, this is all details. Uh, released the notification trailer. A true crime addict. Oh, that's James Renner. Tell you that guy in this in this thing, man, is definitely something. Uh, of the unordinary, that's for sure. Get right into it. I'm not going to go through all of these, of course. <clears throat> Some of these do explain everything I've already went through. And I'm sure hundreds of people went through. But I will go over to some speculate. That she simply ran away. Um, she claimed to be leaving of the uh, family emergency. And the father maintained she was taken by some dirt bags. We know that. Another theory claims of a different driver came to pick her up. So, I mean, this one is like, I'll put in there, because they say, of, right, someone had to have picked her up. I already say that someone was following her. I think she noticed it, turned down the road to turn around, and started heading back to the store, back to public safety, and that's probably when she drove too fast and ran into the dream. Tree. Tree. <laughs> Them are my thoughts and theories. And this one is saying again that she was being followed. Uh, I don't know. Wait a minute. I would have been driving ahead of Mora. Yeah, I don't get this. This is, this is supposedly Renner's writing. The only way this could have happened was if Mora knew the driver and there was no time wasted for conversation. Enter the tandem driver uh, who would have been driving ahead of Mora if they were ahead and saw the accident. Well, they would have been driving ahead of Mora. To see, that don't make no damn sense. And this guy's a whack job. They would have been driving ahead of Mora. If they were ahead and saw the accident in the oh in their rear view, and were passed and were past Bradley Hill Road, next place they could turn around was Route 116. Takes approximately seven minutes to drive to 116 and back to the scene of the collision. What that man just makes no sense because they were supposedly traveling east, not west. Right? Right. So, this is just 
insane to even have written. They were supposed to be traveling east. The accident happened west. So think about it. Why would they have turned around to cause an accident? And <laughs> that, Skip, this one caught my eye. And I thought I might have read of it, but I probably didn't. I don't know if I did. It's in one of my videos. But I don't think I did. And some believe she had a secret child she was trying to protect. Protect from what? Unless she got knocked up out of her engagement. But why is she protecting a child when there's rightfully should be nobody to protect it from? Who's putting this child in danger? And that's the question. And she ran away to survive, to protect herself, and if the police are correct, her baby. Talk about motive to remain quiet for 11 years. Can you get anything better than protecting the kid? What would... What wouldn't you do? What's well, certainly one way to avoid any custody troubles. What the fuck? If she's going to have a baby, what the hell is she going to be worried about custody battles? And yes, unless she had it without Billy's consent. And if Bill didn't know about it, and she's right, cheating on him but still talking to him, and confused, she's confused, he's confused, and now she's pregnant. And, oh my God. <clears throat> and of course, when a body is found, and if there's any type of fetus, I don't think you're ever going to know about it, of course. But um, 11 years, it takes 18 years to have to worry about any custody battles. 18, not 11. So if this is rightfully true, which I don't think it is, I mean, that, I mean, Jesus Christ. This is just people who are bored and got nothing better to do and just put in more to the story, just like that uh, event that's happening, I think, to make money off it. Type deal thing. And what's more even interesting when you throw in stuff that don't even get the f Come on. An anonymous email alleged she was escaping a harmful relationship. Like I say, Bill's already ruled out. There was no harmful relationship, especially when the guy's across friggin' country. Give me a break. And it was... Yeah, Renner that got this email. And it's just... Oh, my God. I mean, like I said, there's not much to go on in this case with me because I've done a lot of research. But I got to say, when stupid stuff comes up like this, yeah, it's good to document it, have it down. And this is also from right Renner. So who in rightfully the right mind is going to want all this attention and giving out this information would be Renner himself. The scapegoat. I mean, don't get me wrong. If my videos do blow up, man, I'm going to contribute what these videos get for money. And do the best I can to donate to the best places of research to get this case solved. And, um... But this guy, man, just randomly throwing up stuff. <clears throat> and this guy is, uh, uh, web sleuths and New England locals are still chiming on the case. Uh, damn it. The anonymous sender alleged that they spoke to someone in a bar who heard a different version he then started talking to me about the missing girl who had gone to West Point and then the UMass. I hadn't heard about it at the time and he explained to me what I know now is that is the more Murray, more Murray case. He told me it was an open secret among people who knew her personally 
and UMass that she ran off on her own to get away from an abusive relationship. He said he knew the people that knew her and that he had in on the whole thing. Okay. Still, where's the body? Where's she? Where's this? And people are not getting incriminated or, you know, looked at to tell the where and give Fred some goddamn closure. Well, supposedly they say the family knows too, but who knows? Who knows? And who knows if that's an, a real email? What if someone friggin' randomly, he randomly wrote it, sent it to himself? Come up with more stupid um, conclusions that are not true, right? Make up stories. And a lot of people do this stuff just to get noticed. What better person to do that? Renner. Now my phone's doing this again. What the hell? Whip. Freaking phone. Claim that she is alive and living in Quebec, Canada, hey? Saying that she's missing woman and they escaped can or escaped to Canada. Now, one thing I noticed in here, they didn't say nothing about the accident. I mean, well, the people believe it is true, others certainly. That's one thing that does not say something in here that also caught my eye. Due to all these accidents and the and getting off of the with a warning type thing, but she was trying to exclude the law. That is not in this article. Another anonymous email. Now that one, you dirtbag, is right here. Goddamn piece of crap. Gave these coordinates of a rather slope of a mountain. She is buried there. And he did not go himself to the uh, the ma maintenance that volunteers went to find the body but turned back because of heavy snow. Alrighty then. If they didn't go back, uh, went back because of heavy snow, why didn't they go back during the summertime? And this was, don't give a date when this email came up. There's a lot of time for summer to come. And the volunteer needs to check out this mountain slope. See if she's buried there. Nothing. Once again, nothing. Nothing's come up with that. I ain't never heard nothing about nobody going checking on mountain slopes. Them coordinates. After the snowfall, right? And then I have to again look into it. See if it happened. If not, there it stands. Sits right there. To me, so far, nothing happened. I'm going to map this out, check it out, see where it leads me to. But yeah, where is it? It's been plenty of summer times gone by. 16, 17 years this case. Let's go, people. If that's the case. In a love triangle. This I have said. And it has said. But here we go. They speak of the track coach. And that she was on her way out to the track place where the uh, track team had a uh, cottage they stayed at. This is, of course, another thing, but I'm not going over that because I don't think that happened. If she did have some affair with that guy, hey, then, then she had an affair, but I don't think she um, made it there with him and the guy's a suspect. Uh, especially, uh, met her in the woods. Uh, after the collision, after the speaking with the bus driver, she ran into the woods and got lost and eventually perished from exposure. Well, that's, um, <laughs> that to me, you would be finding another thing. Why ain't they out there searching the woods again? If they claim this whoosh, and get out there through all that sets of woods near the crash scene and look, Bones are eventually going to pop up. But, um... But, you know what? And then this, of course, the 112 dirt bag. He's in this. 
But of course, this says, while the creator of the video was never identified, Murray's father did not give up the search. And the case has to stay alive. That's the only hope I have. So like I said, I don't know when this article had been written, but for them to say the 112 dirt bag has never been identified, either one, they don't know about this, or two, this is a old, old um, article. But still, out of all the searches that I've seen, I ain't never seen this one, and it just popped up today. And it don't got no damn date, mind you. <clears throat> um, all the researchers, where she got, um, she was up against the researchers, and they gave her some substance to drink, and it killed her, because a local scientist, that I think I do believe, and that top it, toxic supplements. So it's like, Right there, <laughs> that was the case. Then she would have died in the car with the crash. Unless the scientists were following her and knew when that thing was gonna go through her system, drag her out and kill her. And at that time, bang, picked her up before she dropped dead and could find any symptoms in her body. That's the only thing I can come up with this one. If it was this, then that's what happened. They drugged her, got that in, in a couple of days or whatever went by maybe. They knew of the exact time when that would corrode her body and kill her. And bang, picked her up. They picked her up. But who knows? Involved in her alleged demise, claimed the police. I'm not even going over that, and that was it for this. Next list is um other articles, but as you can see also, like I said, nothing about the accident, and she fled to Canada for that, to miss jail time. So, 14 details, some to me are new, but some, I like to say, when the hell was this written? Just like the 112 dirt bag, bag was never identified. But like once again, it ain't got no date. No date up here. You go down further, you get all other articles. And then, of course, you go back. Yeah, Christ. And on the thing here on the search web, it's got, damn it. It don't say no date like I showed. So, well, another thing added. Till that next video, be safe, take care. Always beware. Don't know what other dirt bag is out there. Or the dirt bag is. And yeah, that's right. My thoughts and theories, I think, got it right. 112 dirt bag. Till that next video, out.